Hi Aries, welcome back to the channel. I'm trying to fix my light. I'm in my car, you guys. Um, and it's pretty dark. It's kind of dark out here. It is maybe, I'd say maybe about 8.30 or so. 8.39, 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. So yeah, I'm taking a break. Um, I'm in my car. And I figured I'd just come out and kind of chit-chat with you guys. I don't even know if I want to title this video um, Aries, Scorpio, or whatever. I just, we'll see. But I definitely have my deck because I always have a deck in my car, right? Um, But I just wanted to kind of chit-chat with you guys, of course, for a minute, right? I'm presently in my car, you guys, and... Um, I'm at the hospital as we speak. Um, for some of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, I do have my sisters presently um, dealing with cancer. For those of you that are new, for the ones that are been with me forever, you guys know what I'm presently dealing with. Um, I live in Georgia. For those of you also that don't know, uh, my sister is here in Florida, right? So... I have to go back and forth pretty much, pretty often, you guys. Sometimes I don't even tell you guys that I'm not home, but I be in Florida a lot, right? Because I have to make sure that my sister is good, and I have to make sure that she's straight. However, right now, um, she's presently in the hospital once again. Well, she was at the rehabilitation center. Um, That's where she's been for the past couple of weeks, right? But unfortunately, today, you guys, let's just say situation kind of declined. Situation started to decline really intensely. I'll say for the past three days, um, or maybe two, two days, I noticed a massive change to where she was like very cold. She was starting to get very cold. But anyway, um, let's just say it was very bad this morning. So... Um, here I am trying to grab something to eat, right? This morning, and then my phone rings. As soon as I decided to get something to eat and get my energy up and do a read for you guys, then immediately my phone rings right in my hand. And here comes a call that says, my sister's on the way to the emergency room because our, our situation just took a plunge. So I'm sitting right here outside. I'm just trying to get some air and uh, just kind of get everything together. So that way I could be able to, let me see. <laughs> um, just kind of talk with you guys a little bit, let you guys know what's going on. And I definitely want to do a read still because for some of you might say, you know, just take a break, Juliana. Don't even worry about doing a read. But to be honest, you guys, if I don't do any readings, then I feel like I might just fall apart. I feel like I might just fall apart. So I have to keep going. Um, She knows that that's the type of person that I am. No matter what I'm going through, I'm still pushing and still fighting. Um... And she would want me to keep going because she does understand the work that I do. My sister know that I do tarot. And she supports me 100%. And she understands when she's, when I tell her, you know, mama, you know, sister, I got to go get some work done. She understands that. So, um, yeah, but it's been tough, you guys. Um, right now, she's definitely... Um, She's going through a lot. Her body's changed. Things has changed um, a lot. Um, the cancer has the cancer has spread it, you guys. This cancer it's it's in places where I didn't even know that it could go. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And to say the least. I know she's still fighting because we have had her talks. So she's still fighting. I'm still fighting too with her because whatever she wants to do, I'm with it. Um, yeah. 
it's been tough you guys it's been tough a lot of times when i do come on camera i've been i've maybe just got done crying but i gotta be strong for her right and I also have to be strong for me because the blind can't lead the blind. I have to make sure that I'm good and my health is okay. Um, my situation is okay. My mental health is okay. Um, so that I could be there for her, you know. But today, y'all, the pain of cancer, it was intense, you guys. Um, but finally... We were able to have the pain subside a little bit. And believe me, when I tell you, that pain came back in like two hours. So I, I, I took a little break. She's presently went in to get some CAT scan done. Um, we're going to have a little bit of talk with the oncologist. Um, even though they're saying that there's nothing, we already know that there's no more treatment. Um, it's been tough, you guys. It's been tough. Um, yeah, it's been tough. But I want to thank you guys, um, each and every one, for all the, the prayers. Um, it ain't over yet. We're still praying because God is in control. And I believe that God is a miracle worker. But on the other hand, you guys, I have to get myself mentally ready for whatever comes. It is God who says, and it's God who takes away, and whatever he wills, then I'll follow, because the Lord is my light and my salvation, who, who shall I fear? It's, it's, like, it's like, for me, if I was to go today, you guys, I'd be okay. I'd be okay, and the reason why I say I'd be okay is because I know my heart is clean. My heart is clean, my hands are clean. Um, and I know my purpose and I know why God kept me here for so long. Um, and I'm truly grateful. I'm just truly grateful. So I, I believe that my work is okay. And I believe that I may have more work left to do for him. But if he calls me home right now, I think I'll be okay with that. Um, because I believe in God. Um, I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of what the universe has to offer for me. And I know that I've been, I, I'm not perfect, you guys. I never will be perfect. We all fall short in, in, in sin. and But we all have the, the power to ask for forgiveness, right? So just know that no one is perfect. I'm always a work in progress. And I'm always open to learn more to become closer to God. But what I do know is that if my will is done here on this earth and if God calls me home, then I'll be okay with it. I'll be okay with it because my heart is clean. And not only my heart is clean, but my hands are also clean. So I have no reason to say, Lord, I'm not ready. I'll be ready because I know that my, my mom is waiting for me. Okay. I know that my sister who passed, my, both my sisters who passed away is waiting for me. I know that my dad is waiting for me. I know that my 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 grandmother, who I love so much, is waiting for me. I have friends and family that has passed away. I know that they're waiting to receive me. And if, God forbid, I lose this sister, this woman of God, I know that she is waiting for me as well. She'll be there to receive me. So I have no fear in death, you guys. I don't. Um, I just don't have any fear. The, the only thing that I right now as we speak you guys because we you're we talking right I have bought my decks here but I just feel like I need to kind of vibe with you guys for a little bit I'm going to do a little bit of tarot here because I'm being called to do that but I've also been called to to share this as well this sister who has cancer for some of you guys say you know um Julian I'm so proud of you to be there for your sister because there's a lot of family members that are not that, that are not there for their family members and to keep a long story start short, you guys, um, it was three of us girls. My mother had, she's my oldest sister by my mother's side. So it's her, and it's my second sister who passed away. Um, her, her, actually her, her person shot, um, let's just say her person deleted her because I don't want YouTube to not, you know, 
you know how YouTube is already. So just to say her person, her person that she was with, that she loved, he deleted her out of this world, okay? So I lost my sister to bad faith. I don't even want to say exactly what had happened, but I lost my sister to bad faith. And this is why, you guys, sometimes when I do y'all reads, and I really want to be vocal with you guys, and I just want to be open, I just want to be honest, and I don't want, when I do your reads, even if I'm doing personal read for you guys, I tell you what exactly what I see that's going on with your life. I don't want you to end up with a bad faith, okay? Um, I love you guys, and I, I'm not going to be one of those readers who tell you a lie and to tell you what you want to hear. I'll tell you what the Holy Spirit wants you to know. And then, you know, I pray for you guys. And I hope that you pray for me. But I want to be open with you. And I want to tell you the truth. So that way you could use that truth and make a choice that is healthy for you. Because life, honey, is, is just too short, you guys. It's just too short. It is really too short. I can remember when my sister and I used to play around the yard. We grew up together. And now my sister is laying in a hospital bed. Yo, my sister laying in the hospital bed. Doctor says there's nothing they could do for her. Cancer, you guys. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. And through this all, and through it all, you guys, I have to take care of my health. I have to try to take care of my health because I do have a heart condition, you guys. I don't think I've ever told you guys. I think I mentioned, mentioned one time when I went live that I do have a heart condition. I have a heart condition ever since I was six years old, you guys. I do have a heart condition. Um, and I've been struggling with that ever since I was six. And let's just say with age, it doesn't get any better. So not only am I struggling with that, but I'm struggling with other things too, you guys. Your girl may look healthy and, and, and everything, but your girl has health issues, okay? Um, but I don't wear my, my problems on my, my sleeves. I don't. Um, that's the Taurus in me, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, it's been rough. Um, but I have to make sure that I'm okay to try to be okay. Not just because if I'm weak, I'm going to be there for my sister to take care of her. You know what I mean? Um, she's married, but there's not like a sister's bond, true sister's bond. Um, she's all I got. She's all I got, you guys. So, with that being said, I just ask that you guys continue to pray for me. And just asking the Father to give me strength because I know I'm going to need it. Um, <clears throat> I just want you to continue to pray for her. Because even I, even though I may be in denial about what's going on here. I think I'm in a little bit of a denial, you guys. <clears throat> because I think my sister is making her transition. I think it's happening. Um, but I'm 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 still in denial. I'm still hoping and praying for a miracle. But I just tell myself she's she's gonna be healed regardless. Cancer isn't gonna win. Because if she dies, cancer is gonna also die. So, she still comes out the winner, you guys, because he didn't break her. You see, cancer thought that cancer thought that it was going to break her faith and have her going back, thinking that God is not good and God forsake forsaked her. But God didn't forsake her. My sister is still calling up on her God, even with the pain that she's going through. And. I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my goodness, Jesus is so good. It gives me more faith and it gives me what I need to continue to be a believer that there's a higher power, you guys. It gives me faith to know that no matter what the enemy comes towards you with him, some of you guys, you need to know that, okay? No matter what comes your, your way, no matter how life seems to beat you up, no matter how people lost their faith in you, no matter how you're feeling alone, no matter how you're feeling like the whole entire world is against you, no matter how your person might have left you alone to carry this a burden, 
alone for some of you marriage is lost you guys you invested all these years with this person all of a sudden this person just got up one day and decided to walk away from your life without any kind of closure without any explanation as to what the hell did i do family members against family members being jealous and oh glory to god family members mothers against daughters daughters against mothers cousins and brothers everybody fighting a five or ones here conflicts for no reason life is too short you guys it's too short it is too short if a person doesn't see the true you in here let it go you guys let it go if you have to fight for somebody's attention and somebody's affection let it go you guys if you have to do spell work black magic and dark magic to make somebody love you let it go you guys because if it was meant for you believe me once you release that and let that energy fly if it's meant for you if the universe says it's for you it's going to come back to you But don't force it. Life is too short, you guys. Live your life. Love your life. Love you. Love on you. Love on you. Love on you. Take yourself out on a date. Don't wait for nobody to take you out on a date. Don't wait for nobody to tell you that they love you. Love you first. You want to go to the gym? Go to the gym. Lose a couple of pounds. If that person can't accept you with those 10 extra pounds that you gained, it's on them because you could wait. You could lose weight. But you cannot lose a badass energy. A person can be evil and vicious and, and demonic. That's on them. Let that go. Don't be around that negative energy because life is too short. It's too short, you guys. Take care of your mental health. I'm pretty sure that my sister wished that she could have done a lot of things different. But time wait for no one, you guys. It doesn't. Live your life, you guys. Live your life. Live your best life. I want to thank you guys just for just for never giving up on me you know for all the people that started my journey with me when i first started this channel i just want to thank you guys for never unsubscribing to my channel no matter what you always stuck stood by me and supported what i do I thank you. If I never said I thank you before, I want to say I thank you now. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the lovely prayers, you guys, that you sent up to heaven for my sister. If it wasn't for those prayers, I don't think she would have been here right now. I don't think I would have been here loving on her the way that I'm loving on her right now. Spending these special moments with her. Thank you for the pr these those prayers. When I read them, it was just so unbelievable. It made me feel like people actually care. People actually cared about what someone else was going through. And not just thinking about their needs and wants. Someone actually took the time out to write a paragraph and say, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. I'm praying for you, Juliana. Y'all, you know how many text messages I get? You know how much emails I get? And people who sends me donations just to help me out? Because you guys... When I come to Florida, I stay at the hotel, you guys. 
some of you may be wondering, why you stay at the hotel? I stay at the hotel because where my sister is living is not enough. It's not a space for me to be. It's very, she has a house for you guys, okay? Um, so there is no place for me to, to be, okay? And even through that, you guys, because we're not rich people, okay? We're not rich people. We are all people who are struggling, right? But even if I had to stay on the street, you guys, even if I had to sleep in my car, that well, that's what I would have done. I would have slept in my car just so I could go see my sister. I don't care where she, where she was. I would have stayed there. My sister's in Florida. She's married. She's 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 with her husband. She has a husband. She just has children. But again, where my sister is living is the accommodation for me is not there. So with that being said, it 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 really costs me a lot to come down here because I have to stay at the hotel. And then I have to do a lot of other things that I can't even tell you guys that I do. But I always believe where there's a will, there's a way. Because I don't care what I have to do to make sure that my sister is taken care of, you guys. My sister is my ride or die. I would do whatever means necessary to make sure that she has her medication, to make sure that she has all her things that she needs for her personal care, to make sure that she goes to the doctor, to make sure that she's good. I make sure, you guys, that my sister is good. I don't care what it takes. In the fact that I have to work 20, 20 hours a day, even if I have to do a million reads in a day, personal reads in a day, you guys, I'm going to do it to make sure that my sister has the necessary things that she needs. I'm going to do it. And that's what I do. Even if I have to sleep on the side of the road. Right now, you hear my stomach growling? I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Because like I said, as soon as this morning when I woke up, my phone rang. I didn't get a chance to eat, you guys. Because I'm, I'm hungry. It's night. It's night outside. I can't even look at that. You see that? It's night. I'm sitting out in my car in the parking lot at the hospital you guys that's where i'm at right now that's where i'm at I, a lot of people ask me why don't i do a gofundme i don't want to do a gofundme i don't because i don't want to have any rude messages i don't want to have any disrespectful thing my sister is dealing with stage four cancer it is hard for her to go through it it is hard for me to go through it and the last thing that i want is negativity i don't want anyone to say anything negative about this gofundme i just don't want it i know it would help her out with her doctor's expenses you guys oh i know it would help her out tremendously it would it would it will help me out to help her more so I could like maybe get a second opinion or I could probably get um I could do a lot of things um more if I had more if I had help to do more but that's not the case that's not the case and I don't want to ask for help, you guys. I don't want to ask for help. I just want to be able to do what I can do on my own. And that's what I've been doing for months, you guys. For, for not months. It's like almost two years. Making sure that she's okay with her doctor's situation. I don't want to do a GoFundMe. I really don't. Because, again, I don't want to be... I don't want to hear any hurtful words at all because one time when I first mentioned that my sister was in the hospital with cancer, someone put in the comment section that I was actually talking about my sister's situation because I was looking view I was I was searching for views, you guys. Views. How could I be so wicked and vicious? To have my sister diagnosed, remember you guys, when my sister found out she had cancer, it was already a four. So how could I be so wicked and cruel and evil to come on the internet 
and 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 talk about my sister in a video looking for views you guys cancer is nothing to play with cancer is nothing to play with okay it doesn't respect anybody if you saw for some of you guys you already have a family member or maybe for yourself that had to deal with cancer but when you have someone that's actually dying from cancer you guys it's not something that you you talk some you don't say shit like that to somebody unless you unless you've seen it in living color. Now this is the first time I'm experiencing someone so close to me that's going through cancer. I've never experienced it. I've heard people talk about having cancer. I used to be um, an LPN, you guys. I used to be in the medical field. I know I used to be in hospice, so I've been with clients that's dealing with cancer, but I've never actually had a fa I never had a family member until now so why would I come on the internet and trying to get views from YouTube YouTube ain't even paying no money <laughs> I don't know about anybody else but YouTube has not been kind on my channel here so this definitely not views you guys so if y'all, anybody that's watching this right now and thinking that I'm doing this for views, it, you could, don't even bother. <laughs> don't even bother. It's not, it's nothing to do with views, okay? And that is the reason why I do not want to get a GoFundMe because I feel like I don't want to beg and ask for money to help me with my sister's medical expenses. I don't want to ask anyone to help me with the, my hotel stays. I don't want to ask anyone to help me with my sister with food supplies. I don't want to help ask for help to take her to our treatment centers. I don't want to do it. So what do I do? I work hard, you guys. I work hard and I do it myself. I take care of my sister myself. Whatever she wants, I do it. And, I, I, and I'm not going to get a GoFundMe. So for everyone that's saying I should get a GoFundMe, the emails that you guys sent, I'm not getting a GoFundMe, you guys. I'm not. I don't want a GoFundMe. I don't want it. I will do what I have to do. Um, if, you know, I, I, I made some final arrangements. We talked about it. Um, as far as if something happens, how she's going to be buried and all of that stuff. So I made sure I took care of that. You guys, that's the word. And I, I don't want to cry, you guys. I don't want to cry. But I had to. I want to make sure that if anything happens to her, I'm able to, to bury her, you guys. Because that was her biggest fear. So I made sure when this trip right now i made sure that i took care of all of i took care of everything you guys alone alone you guys because i want to make sure if anything happens to her that she has a very good funeral you know oh my god i i, I told myself that i wasn't going to cry and I don't, I don't want to cry, so I'm not going to cry anymore. Well, maybe that's right for right now, right? <sighs> Anyways, you know what, you guys? I just want to thank you again just for uplifting my spirit because um, when I read the, when I read the, the messages that you guys leave for her, it really helps me through my day and it makes me not cry. So maybe I need to go look at those messages that you guys leave because it really helps me not to break down, you guys. It's so hard, you guys. It's so hard. I don't talk. I, I'm the only thing that I will say sometimes in the videos that you guys know that I'm my sister is dealing with stage four cancer. But y'all, you all don't know what I'm really going through, you guys. Y'all don't know what I'm dealing with every day. Every day, you guys. When I wake up in the mornings, I have a little bit of something to eat. Because remember, I'm staying at the hotel, you guys. I'm at the hotel, right? So my hotel is like my house. It's like my home now. 
the people at the front desk, they know me by name, you guys. They know me by name, right? That's how much I've been staying at this place. And so they know that my sister has cancer, so they take very good care of me. But I can't even eat in the mornings. I'll be so down sometimes. But as soon as I wake up, I try to do a reading if I can, if I can't. But I, tr I try not to show my emotions while I'm doing these readings. But it's hard, you guys. And I do it anyway because I feel like if I don't do it, then I'm going to fall apart. So I do the readings and then I go straight to the, 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 the place where she's staying at here in Florida. Um, the rehabilitation center. I leave and I go straight to see her. Then I have to stop and pick up whatever she needs, right? Because she doesn't have much of an appetite. So I stop and get the things that she needs. Um, so that she'll be able to eat something. Even though she eats there, but she doesn't want the food that they give her. So I try my best to get her soft stuff so she'll eat. Um, and then I stay there with her for the entire day. The entire day, you guys, I'm there. Um, they, they open at eight, they close at eight. I leave eight o'clock, you guys, at night. Okay. And then I head back, to, I stop and grab something to eat before I head to my hotel. I stop and get something to eat. And then I go straight into the room and eat, you guys. That's how my life is right now. That's how my life is, you guys. And then the next day, the same thing. Over and over and over. Every day. But y'all, it don't matter to me. If I have to do it over and over because... I have to be my place. I, I told you guys, my place is to be with my sister. There's no way I could be sitting in Georgia and my sister's down here in pain with stage four cancer, five at this moment, right? Because they can't do nothing else at this point. And I'm in Georgia watching TV and all that stuff. And my sister's down here in pain. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that and I'm not going to get a GoFundMe. So I'm, no one needs to ask me about that anymore um, because I'm not, I don't, don't want to be ridiculed on the internet. I don't want to, people to look at me a certain kind of way or look at my sister a certain kind of way. I will definitely work and take care of her the best way that I can. <sighs> but you guys, I thank you. you. You guys must be like, oh my God, why don't she just pick up the cards? <laughs> And I will. A lot of the cards are already up. But I just ask for prayers, continual prayers, God. Just, just continue to pray for me. And if you don't pray for me, like I always say, just pray for my sister. I don't even care if you guys pray for me. Just pray for my sister. I just want her not to suffer, man. I don't want her to suffer. I don't want... That pain, that pain, y'all, is an ugly pain. Well, let me let me pull some cards, you guys, because that's gonna be my healing right here. Well, let me have some messages, please. I don't even know if I'm gonna do Aries. I, you know, it's a whatever. It's whoever clicks on this video. I don't care. I probably want to put it a collective or whatever. I don't know. But I'm not going to make it a specific sign, okay? It's not going to be no Aries. It's not going to be no Gemini, no Scorpio, no Cancer, whoever. It's just going to be anybody who's watching. Just love on your family. Love on your love on your family. Love on you. Live your life. That fell out. I gotta go get it because it must have been a good message because it fell. Hmm. It says reclaim your power. Yo, look at this. It says Lilith. Lilith, right? It says Lilith, re re reclaim your power. Here. I don't know if you guys could see it. You probably can. Look at that. It says Lilith. Y'all. My middle name, my middle name is this. My middle name is Lilith. My name is Juliana Lilith, okay? 
This is my middle name, you guys. You see how God speaks to you? Oh my goodness. It says that you need to reclaim your power. It's telling me I need to reclaim my power. Somebody needs to reclaim their power because you might have been seeing some kind of a sign here. And y'all, I've been seeing a lot of numbers. Every time I open my phone or open a book or whatever, I'm seeing 11, I'm seeing 111 or 1111 every single time. Every single time. I'm seeing butterflies. I'm seeing bumblebees. I'm seeing the angel number. 111 or 1111. The signs. That's saying, if you are looking for a sign, here it is. I've never been so open or so verbal with you guys ever. Haven't I? Never. There's a magic that is coming. Angel is saying that there's a magic one in my life, or this could be you. You need to focus on your energy and just focus on one thing. And you know, some of you guys, for me, and I could speak for me, but I've been focused on so many things all at the same time, you guys. And it's been, I think, I think it took a toll. I think it took its soul because I've been like doing a whole lot of stuff all at the same time. It's not good for your mental health, you guys. It's not. It's not. It makes you very confused and it makes nothing, nothing gets done. I think I just, I should just say what's the message for the collective, right? What's the message for whoever is watching? Because I don't know who's watching. Speak to me and speak to whoever is watching. Angels. Wish it medicine. Wish it medicine. Ooh. Connect to hurt. Why am I, why am I feeling right now like, like angels is talking to me? Because, y'all, when the doctors told my sister, right? This is what's coming true. You see that? That's, that's what I'm seeing. I'm going to explain this card. When, my, when the doctors told my sister that there was nothing that they could do for her, um, I immediately knew that we had to do home remedies, right? Now, I talked to my sister about, I'll say, three things. And the reason why I spoke to her about these three things is because someone that emailed me about a specific treatment that's good for cancer told me that they was in remission after the doctors told him that they only had three months. She only had three months to live. And she did these three things and now she's cancer free. And I shared it with my sister and then we decided that we were just going to do natural stuff, right? Now, mind you, though, you guys, my sister is very stubborn, right? Very stubborn. When it comes down to eating healthy, she's very stubborn, you guys. She likes a lot of sweets. And I'm not saying that I don't like sweets, but I, I try to eat it in moderation because I do have family members who suffer with diabetes. And my mother passed away diabetic. And I've seen my mother die right there with in front of me with diabetes, right? So, even as much as I love the sweet, I try to eat it in moderation. I try, you guys. Not perfect, but I try. Now, my sister, on the other hand, is you is humongously stubborn, you guys. Humongous stubborn. But she decided that she was going to try the medicine that she was going to try the home remedy. Now, I'm going to share it with you guys, okay? It is called black seed oil. That's the one. And then the second one is the... The turkey tail, the turkey tail pill, capsules that is. And the third thing was the soursop leaf tea. Now, the lady said to take three cups of soursop leaf every day. Um, three, three, um, take two turkey tails capsule three times a day. Take a tablespoon of the black seed oil three times a day. That is if you have already been diagnosed with the cancer, right? Now, if you're not 
If you have not been diagnosed with it, you could live a healthy lifestyle by taking two of the capsules every day, one teaspoon of the black seed oil, and drink one cup of the sour sap leaf tea every day. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, you guys. I don't drink the sour sap leaf tea every day like I should, but I do intake as much as I can of it. But I do take the two capsules of the turkey tail pills every day, and I do take the black seed oil a tablespoon every day every day is what i do will it prevent me from having the cancer i don't know but am i willing am i willing to try yes i'm willing to try something to keep the cancer away now my sister i bought all of that for her you guys now lucky me though okay someone needs to see a situation for what i'm really saying look at that look at that look at that you guys look at that oh the vision. Get clear on what you want. Get clear on what you want. Someone, some this is in the reverse. It did show in the reverse though. So someone is either saying right now, she don't know what she's talking about. Someone is questioning what I'm saying here. This is in the reverse. It's up to you. Okay, that's going to be up to you. I'm just telling you what the Holy Spirit is talking to me and trying to share with you guys, okay? However, I told my sister about what I was told to share. But my sister is very stubborn and she has not been doing the natural things, okay? She has not. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. My sister did not take the turkey tail the way that I told her to do it. She did not take the, the the black seed oil either. The way that I told her to take it. And she's definitely not drinking that sour sap leaf tea like she should. Okay. So um, that's been hard for me to see her not trying like we, she promised me that she was going to do. So that hurt. It hurt. But that is what I was told. Okay. But she didn't listen. So I know someone is going to say, so if you know all of this, why don't you let your sister do it? Because my sister is stubborn. That's all I could tell you. She take, she took a couple of it, but she wasn't consistent. Okay? Because I already know some of y'all minds out there, man. Like, for real, for real. Let me see. All right, angels. Let me get a message here. That one fell. We're going to get it. You know, we, we have to get it, right? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's right here. We're going to get it. Okay, so I'm here in the new moon here. A fresh start and new beginnings. Glory to God. Fresh start and new beginnings. Magic one. Focus your energy on your on one thing again. I think that is needed. A new beginning is coming in. Something new, something fresh. I'm, I'm prepared, angel. I'm prepared, Holy Spirit. I know my sister's going to gain her magic wings. Can you imagine having not only three garden angels, but actually four? My sister that passed away... My mom, my grandmother, that's three. And now I'm going to, more, more than likely, I'm going to have four garden angels. Oh, my goodness. How blessed am I, you guys? I'm getting all this confirmation here. Keep moving forward. You got this. Keep moving forward. You got this. Oh. <sighs> I feel good already. You see what I'm saying? I feel good already. I feel like I'm giving myself a reading. <laughs> and I've never, ever, ever in the history of doing personal readings or whatever kind of reading I'm doing, I've never given myself a reading. I felt like I couldn't because I already know everything about me, right? But I felt like I needed this. I feel like this is for me. This could be for somebody, but this could be me for me as well. Because it really, it really resonates with me, y'all. Based on what I've been feeling. What is it that I need to share here?
Let's see. Cast a circle. Healthy boundaries are critical for growth. I wish I could tell you why this came through, but this could be the sum of you. Boundaries is needed, okay? I feel like I already told you guys that many times I always tell you that you need to set boundaries in your life here. Um, especially loving on you, loving yourself first. Yeah. I'm getting Diana. For some of you, you're either a Diana or your name starts with a D in the beginning. Or maybe you could be a Daniel or something. But I'm getting a Diana here. What is this? Be one with nature. Okay. So this Diana needs to be one with nature. Diana or Diane or something. Daniel, Dion, Desiree or whatever. That D is coming in. You are special. This is what angels are saying here. All right. Let me get the tarot, you guys. Let's get the tarot. I'm gonna put this up. See, I always have a deck in my car, you guys. This little deck, I always have it in my car. Hey, y'all, don't tell me that I need to take a break, okay? Because if I take a break, I'm gonna go crazy, all right? Y'all won't have your reader because I'll be in the crazy house somewhere. I can't. My sister would not want me to take a break from what I love to do. So I have to keep going. I just ask you guys to pray for me, okay? Let's see. I'm going to have to edit this video because I'm almost in an hour. I hope you guys can hear me because... I'm not, I don't even have a microphone. I'm just out here in my car, sitting in the dark. <laughs> in the dark, you guys. You've seen me crying, all that stuff already. So that's good. All right, so something is definitely changing here. Something is going to be changing. Somebody's going to be exposed here. For who they really truly are. Somebody's fake as hell. That's connected to your energy. This person is a loser. Not only this person a loser, but they're conniving. They pretend very well. When they cry, there's no tears. This person's a manipulator. There's a manipulator coming in, but you're done wasting time. Somebody's done wasting or investing time into this loser here. This person's hiding something. This person's hiding something. Somebody's hiding something here. But they know that they're about to lose something. They know that they know that whatever that was going on here, they know that they're about to lose it all. Because whatever they was holding, whatever they whatever they thought things was, they're gonna lose that. Okay. And now they're gonna be without nothing. The, period, the three of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's done investing. Something is going to come to an end here. The two of swords in the reverse. The three of pentacles and the moon. All this manipulation mind game thing. Somebody was either hard to communicate with. Or somebody's done communicating because they're forced not to do that anymore. Or someone doesn't want to do that anymore. Or someone's going to be paid a harsh lesson here. Someone is either over it, bored, sick and tired of being sick and tired here. Because someone is giving and not receiving. Someone has lost something here, you guys. The seven of pentacles here. And the four of wands. So someone wanted to invest or wanted to really put all in a situation here foundation stability or whatever that was going on here but someone just wanted to play mind games here a lot of mind games that was going on here the seven of pentacles and nine of pentacles so someone is ready to invest into something or just move on and be alone here someone wants to find peace but somebody that's connected to this piece is stuck Dealing with anxiety and fear and depression and whatever else going on here. The Seven of Swords. Lies and manipulation here. 
and other people knowing about this and not saying nothing, what a loser. Crying without any damn tears. Sick. Sick and pathetic. Crying without tears. Who does that? Mm -mm -mm. How long is this going to last? How long this manipulation is going to last? Forever? Really? What a waste. The eight, of, the eight of Wands. So something is coming towards you very fast. It's a change of some sort. Someone is either coming towards you with a truth or they're either coming towards you with a lie. What is this? Oh, whatever they're coming towards you. If it's something sad, you're blocking that. Yeah, because you're manifesting your life here because you already know that this person is unbalanced or unstable or whatever is going on with this Two of Pentacles. They're not trying to balance anything out because... They lost their mind anyway. Trying to make decisions here, but decisions is not settling here. Something new has happened. You're moving, you're walking away here. Something is coming towards you here. I'm getting the wheel here, so that's telling me that there's some kind of a good luck that's coming in. A decision that's coming in as needed to be made here. The, wor the world, the wheel, the seven of ones in the reverse. Hmm. It's over. Mind games is done. The seven of ones in the reverse. Somebody's still stuck and they have not made a decision and they're not trying to. The seven of ones, the seven of cups. Choices, decisions, options, okay? Something new, honey. And this person is going to get a, an awake. Somebody's going to get an awakening here. A rude awakening. Because something new is coming. Something is ending for something new to begin. And something has to come to an end. For this something new to come in. Someone doesn't want this change though. But it's happening. Mm. This person pretends so well. Is that something? That's the worst thing. These pretenders. Oh my goodness. The four swords. The four pentacles. Look at this. Four, four. Mm -mm. that's over because somebody invested their heart here that's done somebody's rested enough see the signs didn't make a move now you've rested now you thought about it. now it's time to just push forward okay cleansing the started here that person's energy is in the low low vibration pretending that they want a situation when all along they knew that they was being and fake and phony. This person likes to argue. You don't even know if this person is real at this point or what is it that they want or what is it that they need, but it's over. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. It's ending. It's done. It's a wrap. Angels have spoken. Karma is coming. Period. Mm-mm. Energy is blocked because someone wasted too much time here to make a move, that is. This person is still fighting with themselves here, fighting a battle. The three, of, the three of swords, third party is also here. This person is cheating on the low. There's a third party here. Oh my goodness, y'all. I think I'm going to end this read. Let me pull a couple more cards here. Because this is only going to be the last. This is the only read that I'm going to do. For tonight. Because I'm going to. I don't know what time I'm leaving here. So this is going to be the only one for the night. I just had to get my cards out y'all. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to confirm some things. Okay. We have the moon here. The Three of Wands in the reverse, the King of Swords in the reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. What is this? Okay, let's talk about some things, okay? All right, so you've definitely been dealing with a situation for sure. And this is your confirmation, all right? Collective, because again, I don't want to put this Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, or whoever, okay? It's just whoever clicks on this video. 
this is how this is who it's for. Take what's yours, leave the rest. What it didn't what never resonated, just send it back to the universe. Let it fly like a bird in the sky, okay? Take what's yours, leave the rest. Period. The moon, the three of wands, okay? So with the moon being here, this is a confirmation to let you know that this person is hiding something. Hiding something you shouldn't know. This is your confirmation, okay? There's a secret. There's something that this person does not want you to know because you're not supposed to know. It's under the rug. It's under the damn tree somewhere. Hiding the secret. It's killing them. It's eating them alive. And why? Because we have the three of wands in the reverse. So someone needs to make a decision to move forward here. Someone is either thinking about moving away, getting away from a situation, but you're not supposed to know about this. This is under the rug, you guys. And it's just been blocked. Something has been blocked and deleted here. Because this person is lost. Let's just say that. Somebody's lost here. The king of wands in the reverse and the eight of pentacles. Right now, you should not move any further with your situation here because that person that I'm seeing here is still not ready to give you what you want here. Someone is still being evil and vicious. I'm just I'm not even going to get into anything further with that. But what I could tell you with this eight of pentacles that's also here, you guys, let me show you. The eight of pentacles, that's the eight of pentacles. Whatever you're trying to invest here, um, you're investing into a situation you maybe have already invested a lot already or maybe you're in the middle of investing or thinking about investing. Don't invest anything further because this energy is also in the reverse, okay? This is your new situation here. Something new that needs to happen, but it's been blocked. If you didn't block it, they did. They did. You're going to have to focus on new new something here. I'm not wasting your time and energy on people who's a losers here. Tapping into the energy and making you feel like you can't do nothing. Crying with no damn tears. Ain't that something? I keep seeing that. Somebody's just crying without tears, yo. Oh, my goodness. This is the ugliest thing ever. Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. The Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. This was in the box, you guys. The Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. There's nothing coming in here. This person is either trying to have you broke or whatever. You're praying and you're asking the universe to give you a sign and to bless you with um, an abundance of what you need. But this person is tapping into your energy so hard. It's so hard it's not even having you manifest in your life the way that you need to. You have the ability to do things and to do to do big things, but this person is low, and is so, and so is their energy. Is the truth? All right, you guys, I'm gonna go back into the hospital. Let me take you guys down so you could see what I'm talking about from my end. So that is that is the hospital right there. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I love you guys. Um. Pray for me, you guys always i'm not even going to put this back up here just pray for me you guys pray for cc i'll give i'll give you guys an update tomorrow um i love you guys so so much and again you guys um for the emails that i'm getting about a gofundme i'm not going to do a golf a gofundme at all i'm going to continue to do what i've been doing which is taking care of her um by myself but if you guys want to send a donation you already know my cash app for some of you guys and if you don't it's in the description box um just say donation and i'll know i uh you know if you if you guys are wanting to do that you could do that but i'm not going to do a gofundme for her i'm just not i'm not you guys i'm not right so i love you guys so so much i'll talk to you tomorrow i'm not going to do any more videos tonight i hope you guys do understand um, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, okay? I love you. Bye, guys.